Okay, so uh, today is February 18th. Today is my birthday. Um, and I am all packed and ready to go to my trip to El, uh, to Rosarito Beach, Mexico. So I'm really, really, really excited. Um, I haven't been to Rosarito Beach yet. Um, and I c didn't want to risk going to Mazalan this year just because travel restrictions are still a bit tough. Um, and R Rosarito's great. I can drive. I can go by myself. Um, so that way, you know, I can stay safe. And I'm just going to go for a couple of days. So I'm really, really excited to celebrate my birthday. And of course, no trip, especially a road trip, is complete without going to Starbucks. So I got to gotta take my obligatory Starbucks run. So because the drive is going to be about three hours. I have my Starbucks. Now my trip can begin. So I stopped at the Aliso Viejo rest stop here to use the bathroom and stretch my legs. And there's gonna be a nice view of the ocean. So naturally we gotta go check it out. So it's just on the other side of that fence right there is the Pacific Ocean. And I think over there is Camp Pendleton. Okay, that's enough sightseeing. I have been to this place before because I come to San Diego often, especially being a photographer. But our destination is Rosarito, Mexico. So we got to get back on the road and get going. So let's do this. Okay, so I am now in Rosarito, Mexico. I'm actually in a little area called San Manuel, which is just below Tijuana and just above Rosarito. As you can see, the beach is right behind me. I'm on the third floor of this Airbnb, and um, it's like just unbelievably beautiful here. I walked around the neighborhood and I found this really awesome brewery, and it was owned by these Americans, Andrew and Robin. And I went there and had a few beers and a burger and i mean i just chilled and we talked uh it was amazing so it was a great night a lot of fun now i'm gonna sit here and i'm gonna i'm gonna watch the sunset i think that's a perfect way to end this birthday so all right peace out everybody okay so as we wait for the sun to set let's look at this let's look at this airbnb and see how cute it is so the first thing you do is you come up the steps and you see there's a little little seating area which is great because you get to overlook the ocean and then from the seating area you walk into the room you see my shadow and then there's a seat right there where i have a lot of my stuff sitting and you have a bed with some end tables and you have the television this place has wi-fi and stuff and then there's a bathroom which is fairly big so this place is really, really awesome. It's not too small, it's not too big. I love it, I think it's the perfect size. Come around here, look at everything. And from there, again, you just come out and you can watch the sunset. I mean, just look how stunning it is at golden hour. It's like unbelievable, this view. Unbelievable, the view from this apartment. Say hi. 
is a cat that lives outside here in my Airbnb. Her name is Sophia. Say hi. Say hi. Sophia. 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 Say hi. Well, it's almost 7 a.m. and I just woke up here. This is not a bad morning at all. It's quite beautiful, actually. Very lovely and not too cold, actually. So I came to the Cafe Coronado for some breakfast and it overlooks the beach. It's right up the street from where I'm staying. And there's this really cool old abandoned building next to me that I'm gonna take photos of because I'm sitting outside. And then over there is the beach. And I'm here by myself because it opened up at 8 a.m. But I had to get up early for my first official day here just so I could I could just see everything. It's really beautiful here. I'm just walking down the street. I'm on my way to go find the beach. But I love this cobblestone street here in the city. This is a very awesome beach bag. A dead seal. A dead seal on the out here on the beach. It's so heartbreaking. So this is what it looks like down below. including our friend, the Dead Seal. So when I was doing research for Rosarito, I saw online that there was this big Jesus statue that overlooked the beach. And he's right there, I don't know if you can see him. He's right there. So, it's a big Jesus statue. It overlooks the beach and I just took a, a picture of him. That's actually really cool. It's a massive, massive statue. I found El Castillo del Diablo, the Devil's Castle. It's over there in the distance. Can't get to it right now because it's forbidden, but I'm gonna try and get a photo from it from the side of the road. I mean, look at this thing. This thing's amazing. Okay, so it's Saturday morning. Um, I got a little bit drunk last night because I went to the bar that I found up the street that's owned by the really nice couple. Um, Andrew and Robin and uh, I made friends with them and so we just had a good time we had a couple of shots you know to celebrate my birthday I appreciate that they're really really awesome um, I'm gonna link their bar down in the comments so if you could just follow them on Instagram I'm trying to help them grow it a little bit um, and they're really great but now um, it's a little more overcast today but still very pretty and I'm just gonna go up to get some breakfast and get coffee and I gotta wake up so yeah and then I have this beach tour today I'm really excited about. So now that the sky's kind of moody, I think it's gonna be, um, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I think we'll be able to take really awesome photos. So uh, yeah, all right. Let's enjoy our last final day here before we head home. To okay, so in about 20 minutes, I'm getting a taxi that's gonna take me into downtown Rosarito where I'm gonna catch a shuttle that's gonna take me around to a few places. I think it has five or six sh stops, uh, a couple of beaches, do some shopping. Uh, it also ends up, takes you to Papas and Beer. It's like this well-known restaurant bar club thing, I guess, um, which will be quite interesting because I'm gonna be having my backpack and my camera, but, um, and then it brings it back to Rosarito and then I'll be taking a uh, taxi back home. So I'm ready 
to see and tour some of the city. I'm really excited. So yesterday, I was driving around the town by myself. Today, on my tour, apparently they take you to the Jesus Christ. There he is right there. I'm literally sitting at the bottom of it. I'm kneeling down because it's really at the edge of the cliff here. Man, that is, that is so beautiful up here. Amazing. And here he is from behind, overlooking the bay, overlooking Rosarito. I don't know if you can tell, but I bought a nice green poncho while I was here in Puerto Nuevo. It's very nice. I like the green. Of course, I'm wearing blue, so it doesn't match, but it's a nice color. I love it and it's very comfortable. So, supporting local businesses. And it was only 15 American dollars. The next stop on my tour was a place called Surf Brewing Company. Uh, it's really nice, I'm sitting outside. I love these blue walls. And they're setting up for live music. I'm having a cerveza and the beach is just on the other side of this building. So, I mean, there's some amazing places to come to here in Rosarito. Okay, so it's my last day here in Rosarito, which is actually San Antonio del Mar. I'm about 10 minutes north of. It's beautiful, clear day. Um, which is interesting because yesterday was much more moody. So I told you that Mexico was sad I was leaving. Uh, it's going to take a couple of hours to get across the border, I believe. So I wanted to head out kind of early so that I didn't take up my whole day. And then my manager set up a photo shoot just on the other side of the border in San Diego. I'm really excited about that. So uh, that gives me a little something to look forward to going back to my life. But it's, you know, photography based, which I love. So I'm excited about that. So, yeah, should be a good day.